Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Zoya's Blaze and Ziv and I'm going to stamp on it. I started with Unt Peel Off Base Coat and here is the gorgeous Zoya Ziv. It's just a unique gold. It really is. And then Zoya's Blaze. It's beautiful. Look at that. Ugh. So I'm going to go in with the first coat of Blaze on this middle nail. It's just so squishy and oh, oh, it's just gorgeous. It's kind of like a cranberry or raspberry color to me. Oh, love it. You can see that ziv on my thumb. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm fixing to show you how that one applies also. So here we go with Ziv on my ring finger. Fingernail. I keep doing that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's got an excellent formula. Easy to control. And it's just so blingtastic. It's just... Uh, it's accent nail material, I'm telling you. It's just gorgeous. Of course, I have done a whole mani in it before, so... There you have it. We're going to go in with a second coat of Blaze. Being a little stingy. And those, uh, these, all of my bottles still have those old skinny brushes. I'm just not willing to pay for new brushes for all of mine. That's just craziness. I'm just not going to do it. My collection's way too big to, to do that. Hi, Woody. How you doing? Here we go. I gotta get some cleanup going on on that. Got a little messy. I'm gonna go in with the cleanup brush real quick. This is a red kind of shade, cranberry red or whatever, and I just uh, I want to get as much of it cleaned up as I go along because it's it's quite a mess to clean up, especially if you let it dry really well. <laughs> so here we go with our second coat of Ziv. I remember the first time I saw Ziv. I, I was in love and it was a Valentine's Day manicure similar to what I'm doing today um, I don't remember who it was because I'm telling you it was many 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 years ago but I had to go buy it and I did I had to hop on the eBay's or wherever and go get that one just a beautiful beautiful polish and blaze is just insane gorgeous Look at that. <clears throat> and now for another coat of Ziv. So I did end up doing three coats of both of these. Ziv, I probably could have gotten away with two, but you know, if you're doing three on all of them, I'll just go ahead. Woody again. Hi there. I'm going to top it with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. get it to dry down. I am going to do some stamping today as well as some dotting with a dotting tool. <laughs> Excuse me. Capping that free edge. And breaking Woody out again. Kind of got, I'm kind of messing this up over here. Our it was messed up. So I'm going to take the edge of my orange wood stick and just try to make that lay flat. There we go. Made it work. So ta-da! Look how glossy that is. I love it. There we go. Top cutting this some ziv here. And capping that free edge. So there we go. Here's a swatch photo of those two polishes. I'll be stamping with Nicole Diary in SO3, the gold, today. I'll be using my monocle stamper, my clear jelly scraper, and the Wistonia plate W207. <clears throat> it's got a lot of hearts on it. Lots of different ones. 
So I'm going to use this little like um, ornament hearts or hanging hearts on uh, most of my nails, on, on the stamping ones, on all of them actually. I am popping in there with a piece of tape real quick trying to get up this excess off of my fingers. Sorry I'm out of frame. There we go, get back in frame girl. So I'm getting that cleaned up a little bit. <clears throat> Now I can tell that the golds are different, but I don't have the other ones. I don't have another one that's anything similar to Ziv, so I just used what I had. Now I'm going to make some little hearts using my dotting tool. You just do two drops or two dots, and then you kind of drag them down into a point. And I'm trying to make them look as much like hearts as I can. Um, sometimes you have to go in and straighten them up a little bit, but it's doable. It's totally doable. I've done two bigger dots, or two bigger hearts, and I'm just straightening that one out with a little bit more polish. And now I'm gonna go in and do some smaller hearts using the smaller tip of the dotting tool. I am just using Blaze, this other polish that I'm wearing um, for these dots, and are these hearts, these dot hearts. And there we go, just straighten them out a little bit. And I've decided I'm gonna go in and just do some little dots in some of the empty spots. It's such a gorgeous, I just couldn't quit playing with it. I just, the polish is just singing to me. So there we go. And I am gonna let this dry up for a little bit before I top coat it. Did my thumb the same. <laughs> I'm going to use the Born Pretty Smudge Free Top Coat over the stamping and the dotting. The dotting was a little thick and I want to make sure that I don't smear it also. So I'm on top of doing the stamped nails, I am going to do that one also. So there we go. Hi Woody. Busy, busy. So here we go use that same smudge free top coat I'm just lightly going over it I'm trying to be very careful not to drag anything that might still be wet I have let it dry but it's still it's trust me it's still wet <laughs> oh goodness gotta get that woody boy out here again there we go and now I'm gonna top this one with some posh top coat Seal it all in. Get that glossy, shiny look. Yes. Woody again. He's just hogging up the show today, isn't he? <clears throat> and now for the last one for this accent nail. So I would love to hear what you think about this manicure. I do have a swatch photo coming up here in just a few seconds. Um, but I would love to hear what you think about this one. I do know that I got the golds wrong, but, you know, live and learn. So, there it is. <laughs> and here's my swatch photo. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.